Hi guys, it's Andy. Today I'm going to show you how to take a simple solo cup and turn it into a planter. So you can plant tomato or pepper plants in these. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today. A couple different kinds of tomatoes and I like green peppers and jalapeno peppers. So I'm going to show you how to start a garden inside. So whether you plan on actually putting a garden out or if you just want a couple plants to put into planters, they grow great and have your own homegrown food. Homegrown food is way better than anything you can buy in the store. And with prices rising and harder to get things, it's important to just to be able to have some of your own food at home. So this is a simple way to grow and but very effective and it doesn't cost hardly any money. So what you're gonna to need to start with is two solo cups. We're doing a double uh, solo cup method is what I'm gonna show you. A seed starting mix of some kind. You'll need some seeds. I'm gonna do tomatoes and peppers. I have different uh, varieties. And you're going to need a nail and something to heat up that nail. The first thing you wanna do is get your seed starting mix together. Get it moistened first. Get a little bit of water on there. Now what you want is it to be like a brownie batter where you squeeze it together and it sticks, but you also can just break it apart really easily. So I just need to heat up the nail so it'll push straight through the Solo cup. Now I'm gonna take that cup, turn it over, and I'm just gonna take the nail and push through the bottom to make some drain holes. I'm gonna make four. Okay, then I take the Solo cup that I didn't put any holes in, I just grab some rocks from outside. You'll need something, rocks, marble, something just to make a layered pot right here. For tomato plants, I just want to take my seed starting mix and put it halfway up into the cup, only halfway, and just push it down a little bit just to make sure that the soil is actually um, you know, solid so that whenever the water goes into there and we put the seeds, it isn't going to collapse down. And then I just take some seeds and put it in. You want to sow at least two to three in each um, of your pots right here because you wanna make sure that they actually will come up. Like if you only put one in and then they don't germinate, then you don't have any tomato plants at all. So I have some different varieties here. We love cherry tomatoes, so I'm putting those in. I do buy organic only for those. Um, uh, Menards is where, I got Menards and Lowe's, but Menards had them half price. So I got most of them at Menards. And then I'm just gonna push down in. I just took my finger and pushed about one fourth inch down inside of there. And I'm just gonna cover that now with this seed starting mix. Okay, now for the pepper plants, I put the drainage holes into the bottom with the um, nail. Now I'm putting some rocks in the bottom to set this up on. And then for pepper plants, you actually need to fill your cup all the way up with the dirt, with your seed starting mix. Same thing, I want to push it down a little bit just to make sure that it doesn't compress down whenever I put the seeds in and fall down into the cup. I'm gonna put some jalapenos in here. I also have some sweet peppers. I'm gonna show you, I already started some of these, but we do love jalapenos at our house, so I'm gonna put jalapenos in this one. Same thing, I'm gonna put at least three seeds in here. Just take the three seeds and make sure, I washed off my hands, I should have put on gardening gloves, but I didn't. Um, and then put them that they're far enough away from each other that they do have room to actually come up. So you can see that the little yellow seeds in here are the pepper seeds. So I'm just gonna push them down with my finger about a fourth of an inch into the soil and just cover them up. Now this is the bottom watering method that we're going to do. So you just take some water and put into the bottom of the cup. It has those rocks in there. And then you take your cup and sit it right down in here. Now what I'm doing is letting the moisture come from the bottom up rather than putting water down and pushing seeds further down in. I'm watering from the bottom up, which is what you wanna do. And once this is really moist, we'll pour out that water. 
Okay, after these cups have sat here for a few minutes, they're plenty moist now, so I'm just gonna take that water and pour it out. You do not wanna leave the water in there or your soil will be so wet, it'll just rot down in here. So you want, once they're wet, you pour the water out. And then I'll water these at least once a week the same way, bottom watering. And then the last thing that you need to do is you're gonna make a greenhouse, basically. So you're just gonna take a piece of saran wrap or you could even use a baggie and put over the top and now you just made yourself a greenhouse once it sprouts you'll want to take this off so let me show you as far as sprouting these i did about one week ago and here's the sprouts coming up these are not these are just the first leaves that came up in here so i went ahead and took the plastic off the top this is one i planted about two and a half weeks ago so look at the difference these are just the first leaves. Now it's starting to get its true leaves. See the leaves that actually look like tomato plant leaves? So they're getting their true leaves. And I wanted to show you also, I had done one, I wanted to show you can do it in anything. This is an old cottage uh, cheese container. So look at the true leaves that are coming out on this now. And, and this is what I want. So this, these are like two weeks worth of growth and uh, maybe like 17 days worth of growth. And this one is just one week worth of growth. Now make sure and write on your cup what you planted because you will not remember otherwise. Okay, one more thing that I wanna tell you. See how, remember I said you only put half in for the tomato plants as far as half full? The reason in, the stem needs to be buried after a while. So whenever these true leaves, whenever I get a couple more true leaves on here, then I'm going to continue to fill this cup up until it gets all the way to the top. And by then the tomato plant is growing clear out the top, but that makes the roots and the stem a lot stronger if I start out small like this and then just continue to add dirt. So I don't want to be clear at the top like I did the pepper plants. I want to start like this and keep adding dirt and make it a real strong plant. So now you got to put them in a sunny window uh, where they're warm or also you could get some grow lights. Now these are some pepper plants that sweet peppers that I had planted um, a couple weeks ago. Peppers take a longer time to come out. I will separate these and just keep the biggest strongest one. So I did get some grow lights off of Amazon. They were inexpensive but they will help um, get the process going. They, they were kind of starving for light. They have the light but it's not enough sunlight coming in. So you can just see the tomato plants all sprouting, the ones I did last week sprouting. I can take off the pepper plants. I'm leaving this on until they sprout. They have not sprouted yet. They take longer to sprout than tomato plants do. So I have all kinds of different varieties here, and then I'll just be able to transplant them when the time comes. And YouTube has tons of wonderful videos to tell you how to do this. Okay, I hope this was helpful. The double solo cup method is a simple way to start seeds at home. You just go and buy yourself a pack of seeds and put them into the cups and you're gonna have fresh homegrown food this summer at your house. Put them in planters, put them in a garden, um, be creative, they like sunshine. It's a wonderful way to get great food at home.